Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. A uh, lot to talk about. Hope everybody is doing well. At least we are out of the range. We'll get to that in a second. Guys, if you are brand new to the channel, please like, share, uh, subscribe if you are new. Uh, this is a daily uh, vlog or blog or whatever the kids call it of our thoughts on unbiased technical analysis. And for three weeks, we went sideways. Okay, we couldn't get out of the channel to the upside. We couldn't get down. We couldn't get below the channel to the downside. Uh, we talked about this last night in the video that I believe that today, right? Because Microsoft and Google were coming out with earnings. Uh, those channels, one of them was going to uh, get confirmed. What we didn't expect was that this channel was going to be confirmed way before those numbers uh, were announced. So we'll get to uh, Google in Microsoft in a second. But if you guys remember on the 23rd, today's the 25th, so two days ago, the video from two days ago, I'm sure Kyler uh, is going to do a short on YouTube and all the other uh, social media networks. We knew there was two channels, right? We, we talked about 320 to the upside on the queues. We talked about 314 to the downside of the queues. That was the 20 day moving average. And the question was, well, which one was gonna finally confirm? We got our answer today before uh, the Microsoft Google uh, numbers. Uh, you know, the bulls did not put up a fight today. And that's a very, very uh, kind of important thing to kind of start with. Usually we'd ha we would have a, a little bit of a battleground around the 20 day where any type of support that the market is trying to defend. Uh, today, for whatever reason, the market did not do so. We started talking about this even last night's video that we didn't see a lot of enthusiasm going into this quarter, especially from the options market. And that's how the market, you know, really played out this morning. Uh, the, the, the stock that actually let us down was Microsoft. The stocks that were getting killed today prior to, uh, prior to their earnings release were the cloud names, right? And obviously everything in technology uh, went down with it. We talked about the, you know, the efficiency of how some semiconductors were breaking down. We talked about uh, AMD that lost its 50-day moving average uh, yesterday, confirmed today. We talked about RBLX that lost its uh, lowest for the, from the, from, from the uh, I forgot what it was called. It, was, it wasn't earnings, but they were, uh, I forgot what, what it was. It lost their whole channel follow through today, but it wasn't just them. I and mean, that's the most important part. Stocks that had big, strong uptrends like NVIDIA today uh, got an upgrade, right? Got an upgrade pre-market. And they sold out as well. And if you look at the final numbers, pretty, you know, pretty dismal. You got the Dow down 1%, the S&P down 1.5%. You got the NASDAQ 100 uh, down 2%. Now, I would normally say, and I, I was talking about it pretty much all day on social media, the way we closed, okay, um, if it wasn't for Microsoft and Google, tonight would have been a 10,000 star overnight short right and if they weren't coming out with earnings but they did come out with earnings so that wasn't the case now here's the question going into tomorrow and again you can see after the close uh microsoft uh surging google uh surging and you know google is coming back down a little bit but they are surging uh both beating you know beating their numbers and they both attributed to their strong quarters or at least on the surface, strong quarters to the cloud space, as you can imagine, the cloud stocks are, are waking up as well. Uh, Chipotle, you know, again, you know, Chipotle is a very interesting company. Um, if you actually go back and back test probably in the last five years, Chipotle does really do very, very well beating their numbers. And today, uh, absolutely no difference. The question going in for tomorrow is, can the market hold this, this, this spike on Microsoft and Google? The reason why I'm saying this, and again, the reason why I'm saying this, I always, again, I always try to play uh, devil's advocate. If you see where the cues broke down, right? If you see where the bro broke down, the bottom of this channel here was 1256. We knew how important the 314 level is, but 1256 was the, the bottom of the channel here. Here was the low from 412. If you look where the cues are spiking back into right now, okay, 
they're spiking back into the 1250 area. Everybody see that, guys? As of right now, I don't know what time everybody's going to watch the video, but as of right now, the Qs are back to three 1250s. That's supply. Everybody see that, guys? That's supply. That correlates perfectly with the 1250s level that it broke down from the March, from the April 12 lows. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see. If I'm playing, if I'm a betting man, and again, I'm not, but if I'm a betting man, right? I think it's going to be a very, very tough time for the majority of these stocks to get back above supply. We will see. I hope I'm wrong, right? I hope I'm wrong. But it's going to be a very, very tough time, at least in the morning, that a lot of these stocks that broke down today broke down very, very aggressive levels. And right now, they're just trying to get back to the levels where they broke down. It's going to be very, very interesting to see if they get rejected back in the regular session on the queues, if they get rejected back in that 12 and a half, 13 level. Now, if the bulls reclaim back 314 on the close, then we're gonna it's we're gonna completely confirm what we already knew how crazy this market really is. But on the surface, from the technical aspect on the service side, you know, at least at the open, I want to see how the bulls handle that 12 and a half uh, 13 level. And if they start getting stuffed, and we see names starting to roll over, right? Because keep in mind, today was a lot of technical damage, guys. We 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 broke down pretty aggressively from this. Uh, this 14 level all the way down to 10, which we closed pretty much at the lows. So it's going to be very, very you know interesting to see, can the bulls gap and go, or are they going to get stopped into supply? Uh, I'm going to be ready on both sides. Uh, uh, again, going into tomorrow, I have a slew of, uh, of shorts that broke down today, right? But in case we do rally, you know, I am going to start looking at the two. I'm not going to get creative on the long side. I will look at the two stocks that if they could get above their channels, like for example, if Google gets above their channel, maybe explodes. If Microsoft gets above their daily channel, maybe explodes. So if, if you were going to look at anything tomorrow on the long side, don't look for the stocks that broke down today, right? You don't want to look stocks that are broken down that are just trading back and tempting to trade back into supply. At least if we do attempt the rally, look at the Microsofts on the daily charts, look at the Googles on the daily charts. If they start confirming the daily charts, then everything else will get pulled up as well. It's not a sequence of, well, let's see what hasn't rallied yet. It's more of, hey, these are the stocks that are rallying. Here's the catalyst. Here's their strength and weight on the index on the QQQs. Let's just make sure they're the ones going to lead us uh, back higher. But there's a flip side to that as well. If they start selling off, right, and they hit supply, you, you don't want to look at them for the sell-off. You want to look at the stocks that broke down today, right, and continue to break down. Again, look in NVIDIA, guys. This is the lowest close in this whole formation. If NVIDIA starts losing back the bottom channel here, you can see the low here, and you can see this, the low here on April the 14th. It's exactly the same number, right? It's exactly the same number. If it starts building below this channel here, look how much room it has to the downside. Uh, if you look at the options market, they were coming very aggressively for the 260s and the 255 weeklies. We have to definitely pay attention to that. Look at a name like Snow. Again, it's rallying today after hours like everything else in the cloud space because of the Google and uh, Microsoft strength in cloud. But if Snow starts giving up, right? If they if Microsoft starts ticking down and they get stuffed and they start losing the bottom of the channel here, again, there, this, there's a lot of room to go down. Tesla, okay? What we talked about yesterday, there was a buyer in the crowd yesterday the whole day, right? They were just propping the stock up. There was a buyer in the crowd again second day in a row, but it did exactly what we talked about uh, yesterday. Although there was a reload buyer in the crowd, and again, we could we could look back at this a week from now, a day from now, three days from now, and turn around, and maybe there's a filing, maybe Elon, maybe his brother, maybe Kathy, who knows, maybe there's Sovereign Royal Bank of Zimbabwe, who the hell knows, right? But if, if there was somebody who was buying this, you know, buying the stock, there's going to be a filing. We don't care about that filing. It's not a question of a filing going long. It's the question of, is the stock, can the stock price improve on this reload buyer? And so far, what we talked about in last night's video, it did not, right? If you see, it put in a lower high from yesterday. So even though there was a buyer for two days in a row, it still put in a lower high from yesterday's channel. The key is, and this is kind of what I've been watching for yesterday, when we talked about yesterday, we're going to be talking about this again right now. The key is once this buyer gets cleaned up, and we don't know who it is, we don't care who he is, but if this buyer gets cleaned up and starts taking down the channel, you can see the 60-minute view, right? Again, excuse e-signal is a bad tick. 
But if it starts getting below this bottom channel here, again, folks, they were coming for the 150s, the 155s. We saw the 145s uh, for summertime expiration. There's definitely, definitely put buyers uh, coming into this name. So we're watching for the final cleanup uh, to the next couple of days, and maybe it doesn't happen. But in case it does happen and they do clean up that buyer and they do clean up and they finally confirm the bottom of the range here, I do believe there will be uh, a next leg down. So that's the, you know, that's the, you know, that's the cool, you know, that's the cool part of it, right? That's the cool part of it. Uh, we are prepared on both sides of the ledger. Uh, I'm definitely watching the video tomorrow for more downside. I'm watching for a potential reversal back on Tesla, uh, potential uh, FRC. Look at the saga here. We talked about this last night. They came out with earnings. Uh, they got a big haircut this morning, really, really big haircut this morning. It continued to go lower. There's rumors uh, going around that uh, you know they might get seized uh, by the government. Uh, again, this spooled over to all the banks, not just the regionals, uh, to all the banks. You saw Citibank, you saw uh, Bank of America, but obviously the regional banks, uh, you know, got hit. You know, HVAN, uh, you know, all these, all these, you know, New York City, NYCB, right? All these regionals, was it NYCB? I got the wrong symbol, but anyway, all the regionals uh, got hit as well. So the question is, can the bulls rally off this good news and good deemed earnings reports from Microsoft, from Google, from Chipotle, or are they just going to get stuck into supply, roll back over and start continuing what we started seeing the technical damage for today? As the blind man said, we shall see, we shall see. So again, guys, tomorrow will be a busy day. Don't chase that opening move. If the market's going to be strong, let Microsoft and Google break their daily, right? Their daily channels that they set a couple of weeks ago. You know, if they will, the rest of the market will get pulled up. If they get stuffed and get start pulling down, then you know we're going to get rolled over. So you have to be prepared on both sides of the market. Let the leaders lead. Let tell us, you know, tell us loudly what's going to happen next. We're probably going to get a lot more evidence of clarity at the 10 o'clock turn. That is the first channel of the PS60 theory. And hopefully we'll have a seamless result. So guys, have a great night, everybody. Get some rest. Tomorrow should be very, very eventful. And with God's willing, I'll see you back tomorrow on the video. Take care, everybody. Good night.